So, in the case of the USS Cole and the HMAS Canberra, the solution was to instead use a ship called a semi-submersible heavy lift ship. They are really specialised vessels, designed to lift and carry immensely heavy floating objects like oil rigs and occasionally other ships. In both of our examples, the heavy lift vessel used was called the Blue Marlin. She's around 225 metres in length and capable of carrying in excess of 75,000 tonnes. The way this sort of ship works is that you have a series of ballast tanks throughout the hull which can be freely filled up with seawater. By flooding them, the ship gets heavier and sinks lower. Eventually, the main deck submerges and then, the more you continue to flood, the lower it gets. Get low enough and there is then space to float buoyant cargo over the top. It's then just a case of gradually pumping out the water from the ballast tanks and letting buoyancy do all the heavy lifting. In the case of the USS Cole, she was small enough to fit across the deck, so that's exactly what they did. In the case of the HMAS Canberra, however, even though Blue Marlin had been enlarged by then, she was still slightly too big, so had to overhang the stern. That doesn't actually matter though, as it's all about where the weight is distributed rather than the size, as long as you keep the overall size and weight of the heavy lift vessel and its cargo within limits, you're good to head to sea. With Canberra loaded on board, Blue Marlin left Spain and headed south. She went around the Cape of Good Hope and across the Indian Ocean towards Port Phillip in Victoria. They chose the longer route, simply because they didn't want to chance the high risk areas in the Gulf of Aden and around the Horn of Africa. Anyway, the great thing about semi-submersible heavy lift ships is that once the cargo is on board, they behave in the same way as any other vessel and can navigate in the same way. Then, when they get to their destination and need to unload, it's just a case of doing everything in reverse. They fill their ballast tanks in a controlled manner so that the heavy lift vessel slowly sinks lower into the water. 